Hey guys, this is the first year science office and this video is going to be on how to add courses. So to get to this page, you will need to go on my.toronomu.ca and when you put in your sign in information, you will go ahead and click the my service hub um, link and a pop-up will come. So make sure your pop-up is open on your Google browser as it tends to be closed off. And this is the page that it will lead you to. So the first thing you're gonna do is click the student center. And this is, um, this is where your um, like private information is gonna be, your phone number, your address, we will also have your weekly schedule. So this is your schedule for the week, your enrollment shopping cart, what you're adding to the coming semester, uh, the coming semesters, visual schedule builder. And this is just able for you to see what courses can fit into your schedules, the one that you're adding. This will not work at the moment as it's summer, but when the upcoming semester comes, it will be available to you. It also has the open enrollment date, so when you're able to add classes, final examination information, so the dates that your final exams are going to be held on and the location, as well as your course intention information. So for me to go ahead and add a class, I'm going to go to enroll drop swap. And it will ask me to select a term. So since I, hypothetically, I'm a first year biology student, I know that in the winter I need to take a lower liberal, so in the, in the winter semester. So what I'm going to do is click winter 2025. I'm just going to continue. And this is the page it will send me to. So here I'll go ahead and click the search bar to find classes. And for example, I want to take introductory to French. So I will just go ahead and put the entire course code, FRE101. And obviously this requires a placement test, but we'll continue with it. And it will tell me that there's two sections found. So then I could either choose this one or this one. But depending on the days and times, that's the class I will go ahead and choose. This is helpful when you have Visual Schedule Builder because it will show you um, the different uh, times of the classes and how it will fit into your schedule. But it is the summer, so it's not available until the fall semester arrives. Um, so, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and select this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And obviously it says a placement test is required. It is a lower left for liberal, which is perfect because that's what I need. And it will take me back to this page and put it into my winter 2025 shopping cart. So the next part of the shopping cart is to check out, which is why we need to proceed to step two of three. Now, after, step, after you complete this step and you do not move forward to the next step, that means that it, will, it is not able to fit into your schedule because it's interfering with other course times. So I'm going to click it now. And it does says, it says you do not have a valid enrollment appointment at this time. This is because winter course intention period has not started yet which is why it's showing this. So that's something to keep in mind, but if it does fit into your schedule, you'd proceed, proceed to step two of three and finalize your course selection. So yeah, that is how you go ahead and add your courses. Now, something I want to add is if you, for example, are realizing that you forgot to add courses into your uh, course intention in the winter which usually is available um like middle of august to the end of august um i can a lower liberal that i know is sociology classes so i can just do soc and not entire and add the entire course code and click search 
and it will show me all the available classes. 39 different sections are available. So then I can choose um, courses this way too. Yeah, so that is how you go ahead and add classes.